Hey everybody, it's little Bobby, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Rot Eater boss in Kena, Bridge of Spirits. Now this boss is kind of tricky. First we're going to start out by utilizing the spirit orb thing in the middle of the map. We're going to take that, set the rot on it, they're going to go into their true form or whatever it is. And you're going to take them to clear out the little flower corruption areas all around the middle. There's also going to be those little dinosaur looking things that you can fight off with the rot. It's pretty easy to do that, but once you get the last of the corruption cleared, you're actually gonna spawn the boss, the rot eater. Now the rot eater is just a big version of those little dinosaurs that you kind of been fighting along the way here through the forge and stuff. But he's got some minions, right? Those little mods that you've been fighting. He's gonna spawn four of those. Now what I recommend is you take out three of them immediately and leave one because if you do that that one is going to be shooting at you but he's not going to constantly spawn for more so if you leave that one there you can kind of have an easier time managing him and just watching out for that one instead of having to worry about him spawning up four more that you have to kill every time because basically as soon as you kill all four of them he spawns up another set now he does have an attack where he launches like a, a death orb at you you can kind of see that it's telegraphed by him lifting up his head and his neck turning red. One of the things you can do is if you shoot an arrow into his neck when it's red, it'll kind of explode on him and stun him. You can also, for a really easy time, use rot-infused bombs to slow him down and get a bunch of damage on him. He doesn't have any kind of crazy block or mechanic like a lot of the other bosses. So if you do that consistently and you get uh, the rot energy back as much as possible by hitting him with regular bombs or arrows, uh, you can constantly slow him down and just go to town on him. But again, you want to make sure that you're doing that with the single moth that's flying around. You still have to watch out for that moth because it will attack you, but it's better than four and it's better than him constantly spawning up four, which does a big AoE attack too. So if you do that and use the rot hammer as well, you can also use rot infused arrows. They do a good chunk of damage, but my recommendation is Try and get a rot infused bomb on him to slow him down, do a bunch of damage, and if you can, end that little damage cycle with a rot hammer. Uh, that'll take him down pretty quickly. This fight is a lot easier than a lot of the other ones. Um, you can also parry him, make sure you're dodging, all that kind of normal stuff. Uh, if you do that, you'll be good to go. So if this video helped you out, I do want to thank you for watching. And please feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up or a comment, and let me know if you found this helpful or if you found any other things that work for you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you soon.